Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to our webinar today, how to start a company in Estonia. My name is Kreta Suarez Chikamargu. I'm project manager at work in Estonia, and I will be your facilitator for today's session. Our session is uh, one hour long. Um, I will ask you all to stay on mute throughout the session. However, you can always send your questions through the chat and we'll try to answer them uh, throughout this session. However, uh, we will also have some dedicated time at the end of this webinar, so you will be able to participate more inter interactively then. Also, we will try to answer all of the questions that you have sent us through the registration form. Uh, however, if there are any points that you feel that were left unanswered, or if you won't have the time to answer each and every question, uh, you will receive uh, more detailed answers afterwards through email. So without further ado, let me introduce uh, Krista Hink. Uh, she's from the Tallinn uh, Enterprise Department and she will be our speaker today explaining how to start the company in Estonia. Krista, please. Hello to everyone. I'm very happy that you are here in our virtual seminar room and you are interesting about how to start a company here in Estonia. I have one presentation about 45 minutes and then we can follow with questions. And you can ask right away also using this chat box. So just a moment, why it's freezing here. Some quick facts about Tallinn, why you should choose Tallinn for establishing a company. Maybe that's the best place for starting a company because our startup hub is very active here. Also, Tallinn is famous as seaport city. It was many visitors, more as 4.6 million visitors here in Tallinn, mostly coming from Finland, Russia, Lettland and Sweden. Also inhabitants in Tallinn, the number of inhabitants is 444,000 people living here. And Tallinn is also famous as digital city in Europe in top 20 and also in top 10 as the city with the cleanest air in the world. What about business activity here in Tallinn? Here you can see if you are starting your business, you are not alone. Private foreign persons own businesses is here in Tallinn more as than more as 18% and this part is increasing every year. Comes more and more people who would like to start their own business here in Tallinn. About business profile, if the people are saying, oh, I don't know, shall I start my business? I'm only alone or with together my partner. But don't afraid it because most companies, more as 95% are micro and SME, small companies. That means they have less as 10 employees. What about business idea? What is the best business idea? What should I choose for a start? Here you can see about field of activity, the statistics that mostly the first place is companies who is dealing with professional, scientific and technological activities. That means different researchers, architectures, consultants, about accountants, such kind of services is very popular here in Tallinn. The second place is sales, wholesale and retail, and the third one, administrative and support activities. Then comes ICT and real estate. We are very proud of our startup ecosystem because we have now in Estonia more as 1,000 startups. 
and unicorns also very famous for unicorns skype latex transfer wise taxify and we are waiting the good news for pipe drive for starship rapcat and for tumor what about the city of tallinn i'm a representative of tallinn city enterprise department and i'm working here in business development team one team from together with about 60 colleagues how we can help our clients our startup entrepreneurs how you can meet with our colleagues here that's two possibilities we are working every working day just city center and you can book the consultation of by skype by phone by mail the time is limited up to five hours that's the free of charge consultation you can ask and also we have meeting sessions consultation sessions in international house of estonia every tuesday we are serving there also the people can ask question about how to prepare business plan how to make financial projections about employment law one of our team members is lawyer also information about starting company here in estonia that's the today's main topic and the last but not least how you can find money for a startup for prototyping also we are talking about state business grants startup grants provided from government two different possibilities about business ideas here i put some sources where our estonian and international clients can find new ways for thinking new solution how to go ahead from this coronavirus time which kind new business ideas can be that's the covid in in innovation home page and also very famous springwise.com who is collecting different business ideas all over the world because if the people are visiting us and asking please tell me which kind of business idea should i choose that's very difficult to say because everyone shall have their own idea their own strengths and their own vision and dreams where would you like to develop your idea then we can help you because that's the reason sometimes to share different sources that's the main topic today if you know if you have already your business idea what will be the next steps how to start a company here we can go with four different steps choosing the company's business name main field of activity legal address and registering the company where you can find the best information about it we have very good home page easty.ee where is the whole handbook the whole material we are going through today also these topics and if you would like to read more about it then you can use this home page about steps before starting about choosing theory of activity about different business forms business names and so on okay let's go the first step for your child for your companies the business name the business name should include an indication of the company's form of businesses in estonia private limited company called osa Uhim, the shorter form OU at the beginning or the end of the name. If you are choosing the form of sole proprietor, uh, 
Then FIE includes the entrepreneur's given name and surname. That's very important is before registering a company to check the name. Is this name free? Because if somebody is already using the name, then you can't take this name to your company because your name shall be uh, different from the others, not uh, to be the similar already registered trademarks. And the possibility to check the name is name inquiry. Here you can tip the business, just a moment, you can tip the name that you have chosen and you can search. Or in Estonia registered the similar name companies already or not. If the name is chosen, then the next step, what about the main field of activity? When somebody, for example, I prepared here, would like to start and the business can be as a food cart. And here, that's our also special web page about statistics. You can find here the official field of activity, the accommodation and food service activity, and your part your branch, restaurants, cafeterias, and other catering places. And here you can check if your field of activity is fast food restaurant, takeout, ice cream truck, mobile food carts, food preparation, or something else you can use this code 56101. Because if you are uh, if you would register your company electronically, you shall know your company business name and field of activity, this number from this MTA code. And here you can check it. If you don't find, you can ask from this office also, good advice, which code will be better. Why is that so important? Uh, that's so important to choose the right uh, field of activity because uh, some supporting measures, some grants is not uh, allowed to support, for example, the sale, wholesale or retail. We have one client who is uh, who owned the book edition and he's told, he told us, oh, I'm, I'm selling the books. But we are talking, oh, you are not the bookstore, you are not the sales, you are creating, you are making these books. That's the book editor. And that's the reason to choosing the right field of activity. Because sometimes, if you would like to change it, the field of activity, it takes time one economical year. If you are making your uh, annual report, then you can change your field of activity. If you are starting today as food cart and then you are thinking, oh, maybe I'm making some, some sales or opening small shop, then you can choose this field of activity, change this field of activity only after reporting that in your annual report. And then the government changes it on your registering uh, place. Legal address. The people are asking before, can I use my home address as legal address? Yes, you can. That's very important that you can receive the important correspondence about your company. This address should be, be in Estonia. And you can use this, your residence in Estonia. If you are a sole proprietor, that uh, for sole proprietor, you can use only this registered place in governmental register. But others, private limited company, then you can use home address or address of activity. No need for official permission. And if you are moving your business, your shop or your restaurant to the other place, 
then you can change the address immediately in company registration portal. It takes about two hours and the governmental fee about 20 euros. If you are not living or working here in Estonia and you don't have existing address, then you can use different business service providers who can provide the service, legal address and helping if you would like to take this service, helping by bookkeeping, opening the bank account and other services. And the next step, registering a company. That's two possibilities. You can do it yourself electronically. Registration in e-commerce register. That's the company registration portal. Or if you are already here in Estonia, you can go to the notary and asking this as a service. For registering yourself, you need only ID card and digital signature software. Our clients who is coming from Latvia, Belgium, Finnish or Lithuania and having the ID cards or mobile ID can use the same, the local by Estonian companies registration portal also. And it goes automatically. They have templates, for example, template of articles of association also. If you are agreed, you can use, you can conform it and it takes only some hours, maximum one working day, if you have confirmed all these templates and after that you can receive the company registration number. So what happened next? The company is registered and the people are asking about value-added tax payer. I put this slide here because for a start, if your company are planning to invest, providing different um, assets like computers, equipment, production lines, if you are purchasing raw material just after registering your company, then you are right as FAT payer receive this FAT tax back. Our ways, if you are waiting your annual turnover, then you're at this border for annual turnover. If you are receiving your sales more as 40,000 euros per calendar year, then after that is required to register the company with the Estonian Tax and Customs Board as value added taxpayer. But you can do it just right away after registering your company. But you shall remember that summa summarum, the winner is the government for the future. Only for the first period, if you are investing more as your sales allowed, you can receive this FAT back. But you shall also know sometimes the tax office would like to check your company, to check your documents also. Here I put uh, some information about e-residency. E that's uh, we should remember that e-residency, that's not the citizenship or tax resident, residency. That's only possibility if you have e-residency card, you can establish a company in Estonia fully online. Sometimes people, I have one client from Estonia and partner force in Australia and they ask him how we can uh, put the share capital. Yes, that's the possibility if the both are e-residents. The e-residents then is possible to establish a company fully online. Or nowadays during this Corona pandemic, uh, some of our clients are asking also if I would like to move 
that's my home country, that my company is here in Estonia, how can I manage my company or sign the documents that also possible if you are moving from Estonia, then you can be as e-resident and using this possibility to sign all documents, this digital ID e-residency card. Here you can find some documents, that's the templates also. You can use the founders agreement, you can look uh, the detailed what sh should uh, there be if you are visiting the not notary, the notary makes this founders agreement. Here is only the main information that articles of association, if you are not um, choosing the template electronically would like to mail your own or something different, then this the articles of association you can use this one and you can use by notary also the same document. And here is also one sample about employment agreement. That's very good start of the Estonia homepage where you can find this information. When you don't understand something clearly about articles of association, your rights and duties, then you can look our commercial code, then you can see the basic juridical issue, where's the information for this articles of association. That's the commercial code in English, you can use it. So, the people asking, uh, what about, what's the difference non-profit association and the company? Uh, sometimes uh, it depends on activity. Uh, if the people are starting business like sports club, then is maybe useful to be as non-profit association as a sports club because then you can ask the governmental or local authorities support for arranging different um, activities. You can apply the grants as non-profit association covering your current cost. But if you would like to invest something, then for investing for assets, the mainly grants is only for enterprises. Then maybe you shall choose private limited company or another form. Some uh, sports clubs in Estonia are working and working by uh, this two possibility, two different uh, forms. One part is working as non-profit association, arranging different uh, activities and uh, for um, place for the person for some activities they are using the form of uh, private limited company as enterprise. But if the people are choosing business idea as housekeeping, gardening, repairing or construction services, and they don't care about the bookkeeping, about taxes, then it's also possible to be in Estonia as entrepreneur and using entrepreneur account for a natural person. If you are selling your service for the other person, like babysitting or housekeeping, or if you are building something, gardening, or say selling goods to other natural or legal person only once or twice a year, then you can use this entrepreneurial account. That means the all taxation is made automatically. The most important thing here is the government takes from your account automatically this 20% personal income tax. You don't have any tax declaration, any bookkeeping anymore. 
if your clients are paying to your entrepreneur account for your services or goods, then you can take from your account only this 80% and all taxes are already paid for the government. If your sales is not more as 25,000 euros per calendar year, if the sales is more, then the government takes already 40%. This possibility to opening this account is only in one bank here in Estonia, LHV Bank. This bank offers this possibility to open the entrepreneur account. You don't have to register your company, you don't need having uh, declarations, annual reports, only you receiving 20% less. But if you are sure that you would like developed, you would like go ahead with your business idea, and you would like to open business as sole proprietor or private limited company. These two are the most popular here in Estonia. What's the difference? If you are choosing the form sole proprietor or called freelancer also, then there is no minimum capital requirement. State fee for registering is 13 euros. Accounting, you can use only Excel table. That's very easy, that's the cash base. You shall make only once a year your tax declaration. But the uh, plus is that unlimited personal liability for debts incurred in business. And the business name, you can use only your given name and surname. You can't use the other business names. And address is automatically registered at place of residence here in Estonia. The other possibility to choose is business form private limited company. The Estonia best possibility here is you can establish the private limited company without contributing the share capital. You can start with zero share capital. Officially, yes, if you are looking before this slide, comparison of the primary features, then you can see that the share capital shall be 2,500. But yes, you can start with the zero one, and it's not allowed to pay out the dividend or to sell your company before you're not collected your share capital, this 2,500 euros. You can collect this money from your sales, from your profit, and you shall fix it on your balance sheet and commercial register after that. A private limited company not have, has personal liability for company's obligations, and the registering fee, governmental fee, is 190 euros once you shall pay it. But you shall have a bookkeeper who helps you or you are making yourself once a year the annual report with profit loss statement and balance sheet. About the Estonian taxation system. We, in Estonia, we don't have a corporate income tax. Corporate income tax is zero. Zero tax on retained or reinvested re profits. But we have labor taxes, labor taxes, is 33% social tax. It consists two parts, 20% for social security and 13 for health insurance. Additionally, unemployment insurance tax, 0.8% must be paid on the gross salary. And additionally, employee should pay 1.6%. Standard value added tax rate is 20% and reduced for some medicine and tourist services is 9%. Personal income tax is 20%. From all salaries, wages, bonuses, and other remuneration. The Estonian taxation system is easy because you can use e-tax, electronic tax filing system, 
they are about around 95% of declarations are filed electronically. But here are good some samples of uh, about taxation. For example, if gross salary is 1,000 euros, then here you can see the social tax is 33%, additionally uh, 330 euros, and together total cost for employer, the rich fund, is 1,338 euros. The cost for employer, if it's 1,000 338 euros, then the employee receives net salary 871. Or social security. I received a head this question about uh, social security, how much shall pay as minimum every month. Every employee shall ensure about monthly social tax 178 euros it comes from the basic 540 euros from 540 euros 33 percent is 178 euros monthly if you are sole proprietor you shall pay it in advance three months together that means about 532 euros then you can receive your health insurance and social tax. If you are working in different working places, you have employer and you are working as sole proprietor, then you shall check yourself. Are your employ employer every month pay this minimum social tax 178 euros? If not, then you, as sole proprietor, shall pay the additional part that together monthly pays is covered. Dividends or salary? Yes. Why you shall choose the form as sole proprietor or a private limited company? If you are sole proprietor, then you shall pay taxes from all your profits. You shall pay personal income tax 20% and 33% social tax. If you are own, owner of private limited company, then it's possible to receive the dividends, and dividends are without the social tax. That's the reason that the people love dividends. But here is the official statement from our tax and customs board that it's not allowed to pay out only dividends instead of employment, instead of salary. And the official statement is, you shall pay your salary, the commonly paid level, the medium salary, the same field of activity. And then the rest you can take out as dividends from your company, if you are working everyday duties in your company. Here you can look more information about that. But very important is to understand you can't take all money as salary out as dividends. You shall take out your salary and the rest you can take as dividends. About accounting and reporting. Can I do it myself? Yes, you can. Our government offers e-financials, that's electronically, portal where you can declare your taxes and, your info and then use for bookkeeping. Also, LHG Bank provides for clients smart account solutions. About if you have only invoicing, that software for small businesses, you can use it. All different service providers, here is the source, e-resident uh, homepage. Here you can find the approved service providers who is helping by tax and legal consulting, bookkeeping, or also they are providing the business addressing and opening the bank accounts. After founding and registering, 
the commercial register number, if you are receiving from register venue, can open your bank account. If it takes time, maybe it's a good idea to use different financing alternatives. This holy PayPal payment world. If you have bank accounts from different European Economic Community members, then you can use these bank accounts too. About VAT, we are talking already. About the different activity licenses and notices of economic activity. If you are dealing with construction, with trade and catering, in their environment, healthcare, then you shall have the special approval from different governmental institutions. Then you shall check it after that if your company is already registered. Here I put one sample, it was before this food truck or preparing food in a shop or small cafe or restaurant. You shall have this economic activity notification. That means for this notification, you need the food safety plan. And for that, you can apply it directly from veterinary and food board website. Also, you can use the virtual helping uh, system that's the food box. This application is approved from this veterinary and food board. If you are registering that client here in food box, you can receive also the same documentation. About trademarks, when somebody would like to register a trademark in Estonia, you can make it in this patent office. And it's not so difficult. You can do it electronically also, and state fee is 1045 euros. Internet domain name registering, the basis fee is up to 6 euros per year. And you can check this availability on the home page, Estonian Internet Foundation. Uh, about finding pro working and workspace. Here is some possibility you can see the prices about co-working places here in Estonia, in Tallinn, Prague city center. And what about finding a business partners? If you owe more information about, about your field of activity, because here we are working as the main consultants about the economical field. If you would like to know more about finance, the fintech possibilities, you shall connect with Finance Estonia, who is connected to different finance organizations here in Estonia, or ICT cluster is very active, connected health cluster is connecting different medicine, IT, and biotechnology companies. Or professional association. If you would like, for, for example, establishing an e-shop, then you can use this uh, special association who is helping with information, e-commerce association, and then you can find about how much it costs, about 6,000, 10,000 euros to find good a good service provider who is helping to opening your e-commerce possibilities. How to find money for prototyping? One is the new smart city innovation competition. Opening this competition, competition right away is uh, the main prize found is about 15,000 euros and uh, the deadline is 24th of August. Tallinn Smart City Innovation Competition, if you are applying help for creating the new innovating services for the city. Also for financing prototyping is Prototron Foundation 
that shows the one part of Tallinn Science Park, Tenderport, who is helping the technical companies. Here is named information and communication technology, health and green technology. And very famous is by Keep Defender Dogle, who is coming from Tallinn Science Park, Tenderport. If you are creative business representatives, then you can be a member from Tallinn Creative Incubator and using possibility this commercial space in the city center, Tallinn Design House, is huge uh, workshop and shopping area. You can, you can use it for uh, meetings and for your selling your uh, collections also. Investors and accelerators, if you have a very good idea and you don't know who is helping you and you are satisfied if the people are coming and investing your company, then we have Estonian Business Angels, Umbrella Organizations, Espan, they have meeting every month and they met with potential startups and also Accelerator Startup by Sky, Rototron, Build It and Rodana. You can look at if they have some differences, which type of businesses they are supporting. And Startup Grant and start, Startup Subsidy, how the government helps the people who would like to open their own business. If you are registered as unemployed, then it's possible to apply the subsidy from unemployment insurance, insurance fund. That's the 4,474 euros. Or you already are working, but you would like to open your new company and companies not older than two years, then the maximum subsidy is 15,000 euros at startup grant from government at least 20% must be self-financing, and you can use it for investment, machinery equipment, also marketing costs, and for labor costs, one half of them. You need business plan and finance prognosis, and you have time two years from registering your company to apply the startup grant from government. Here is small introduction about our Tallinn City Great Fair Grant, if the company who would like to take part from Great Fair here in Estonia can apply 1,000 or from International Great Fair, up to 8,000 per year is grant. Also, trainee instruction is 5,000 euros per company possible to apply. Here you can read, I think, yourself about city crisis measures for economic operators about reducing rent, about reducing the advertisement tax, you can find here information, and also national measures for economic operation. Here I put material about uh, governmental enterprise Estonia support measure for everyone, for every company who is uh, who lose turnover comparing the last year and the sales force uh, not more than 20,000 and less than 40,000 euros. Then every company received 3,000 euros and the bigger sales less than 100,000 euros. This kind of companies received automatically after application that 5,000 euros. And for tourism sector, that's a little bit difficult. Here is five different crisis support measures for tourist sector here in Estonia. And unemployment insurance fund supported uh, companies for the measures for paying the salary for companies who is turnover 30% less or 30% less employees are working, or they are in, uh, decreasing the mini, 
in the wage about 30%. Then the government uh, supported up to 70% of the average monthly wage during two months. And uh, self-financing should be 150 euros for the employee and the rest of it pays the government during two months, during this three months period, March, April, May. And I think that's it, very short. What about our questions now? Thank you, Krista. Yes, everyone, please feel free to ask for questions. Um, if you would like to send them through chat, you can do so, but I will also uh, remove uh, the option so you can unmute yourself and you can use your voice to ask for questions as well. Take this opportunity since we have uh, 10 more, 12 more minutes left and we have Krista here. So it's a unique opportunity for her to get all the information you want. I can see uh, Perkai uh, has raised their hand. If you would like to speak, you can do so now. No? Let me see. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. And uh, I'd like to say, ask a question about a company that I would like to start up in Estonia. And the uh, question is, I'd like to create a company that does import and export from my own country, my home country, Turkey, to Estonia or other European countries. My question is, uh, does uh, e-residency allow me to do so? And followingly, am I only going to get an income tax of 20% if I am between 20,000 euros and 40,000 euros per academic calendar? That's my only question for now. Uh, just a moment, if you are opening your company as e-resident, yes, that's allowed importing and exporting. Uh, now it depends which kind of goods are you importing and exporting. If this is food, you shall have approval from veterinary and food board. And uh, about taxation, about taxation, it depends also which time of good are you importing or exporting. And I suggest to contact with our uh, tax office, Estonian Tax and Customs Board, and uh, they helping about uh, this correct information because it depends about uh, what, what's the issue. Is that food or something else? But you can send by mail also this question. We can check it here. What, was that helpful? Yeah, thank you. We have a couple of more questions here in the chat. I will read them out loud. Uh, so the first one is from from, sorry if I pronounce wrongly, it's uh, Aran. Uh, I've, uh, if I founded a business in Estonia, what would I need to do to come and work for my own business in Estonia coming from a third party country, that is UK? I believe this is more probably a residence permit related question. Am I correct? I am afraid so because I know you have tomorrow this topic on your seminar. Yes, exactly. Tomorrow at half past three, we will have another webinar together with the police and border guard board, and we will discuss exactly those topics: how to how to get a residence in Estonia, what is the current situation with uh, applications and documents. So I think that would be the right place to discuss this topic specifically. 
uh, because here with Krista, we're talking about the specifics, how to open a, co a company. However, everything that is related to residency permit, uh, to visas, to residency permits, uh, they are under the police and border guard umbrella. So they will be the best persons to answer those questions. Okay. Uh, we... Yes, Aran also asked if uh, he could get an invite to that webinar. Yes, uh, that webinar is also on our uh, International House of Estonia Facebook page, as well as if you go to uh, Work in Estonia webpage, you go to International House Events, you can find this webinar over there and you can register through those links. Uh, let me see. Uh, Daniel is asking, hello, is it possible to apply the 15K Euro startup grant as a foreigner or with e-residency? Is it obligatory to already have a registered company in Estonia for having this grant? Thanks. That's a good question, yes. Uh, you can apply. And we have clients from abroad who is receiving this 15,000 startup aid. Only your company doesn't be older than two years. Or if you have the other field of activity and you are starting it, that should be the new business idea. That's important. The company should be registered here in Estonia. That's right. And can be a resident also. Nice. Thank you. And there's also one question we have received a couple of times through the registration form. Uh, I'm not sure if you can answer it, but it's about uh, the business opportunities, the business areas. If there are any specific areas that you have uh, seen, that you have witnessed, that we would have any statistics that need uh, more, uh, more service providers, more, uh, more companies to be created. Are there any areas that are more uncovered and thus have more opportunity? Uh, service area, that's right. Because as we know, nowadays the business situation, the companies are, um, are searching different services like bookkeeping, marketing service, and uh, different type of services they are purchasing from the other service providers. They don't have any more the working places in the companies. That's the reason that the first place, uh, the different activities list you can see, the specialist architectures, consultants, tax consultants, lawyers, all service sector. You can provide also the social services, different social services, elderly care, medicine services provide from private companies. It depends on your background. Unfortunately, I don't know what's your area. Yep, perfect. Thank you. The other and way is a uh, need for investment, because if you are starting with services, sometimes you need only working place with computers. Or if you would like to make small workshop, uh, like uh, beauty service, that also cost about 10,000 euros or less. But if you would like to establish company for processing some kinds of goods, then you shall purchase machinery, equipment, and then can be the other need for investment. Perfect. Also, we have some questions specifically about farming, about uh, germinating crops and milk industry. What about those those areas in Estonia? I'm very what sorry because I'm working in capital in Tallinn and about this agricultural. I'm I'm not sure that's the best consultant. Maybe the, uh, this uh, can be for the next seminar topics. Yes, that's a good idea. We'll definitely oh, uh, discuss uh, to say uh, truthfully the professional association. You can find maybe statistic and background for professional association about agricultural uh, type. You can look ahead this list of professional association and they have English 
uh, their page and there is statistics and background information. What happens here in Estonia? Nice. We will also share the slides after this webinar, so you, you will be able to check all, all the links there. Uh, let me see. We have another question from Aran. Uh, I organized a conference for the tech industry. Uh, is there any extra registration or government licensing if I would need uh, to organize a conference in Estonia? Do, so do, do we, uh, does he need any uh, license for organizing a conference in Estonia? I no, think that's the no. main point. No? No, they don't need any licenses for an yeah. organization about conferences, no. Okay, uh, we have two more here. And I think we have exactly time for those two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kadi is asking, uh, if you're providing a service as a consultant, would it make more sense to start up as a FIA or a sole proprietor or a OU, uh, specifically from a taxation perspective? Uh, the main role is so, if your sales is less at 16,000 euros annually, then you can follow your business as sole proprietor. If your sales is more at 16,000 euros, then it's worth already to start as company. Great. And one more from Danielle. Um, for registering uh, an OU, uh, I need to have 2,500 euros for beginning. After registering the company, can I use this money for my business or should I keep this amount always on the company's bank account? That's a very good question because you don't need any more for a starting business, this share capital. You can start with zero share capital or company. Only it's not allowed to sell your company or take out dividends before you don't collect this 2,500 euros as share capital. But if you are paying on your bank account as share capital and the company is registered, then right away you can use this money as normal money in your company for entrepreneurial costs. Only on balance sheets. On balance sheets, you can see this money is your share capital. But on account, that's the normal finance resource. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, that's our time today as well. Uh, it was a very interesting webinar, very useful. I hope you were able to get answers to, to most of your questions as well. Um, if they still have any other questions left after this webinar, where should they turn to? Do you have a recommendation? Thank you very much for everyone. And you are welcome in International House in Estonia by Skype, uh, by, Skype by mail, by phone. Or yes. in our office here in Tallinn. Very nice weather, 17 degrees plus every summer. Good. Thank you. Perfect. Bye. Yes, you can, you can book a consultation with the uh, 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 Enterprise Department of Tallinn directly through the International House of Estonia, as Krista said, or you can give them a visit uh, directly as well. Thank you very much, Krista. Uh, it was really interesting. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And we will, uh, this webinar has also been recorded. We will share this recording as well as the slides with you as soon as possible. Thank you so much and have a good afternoon. Bye.